Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face. We're here in the Land of Autumn. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes, it's right over here. Thought I would start things off right off the bat by giving a shot to another speed. Oh, God. Okay. I'll just go ahead and ram that bridge. Huh. You know, I recognized all the stuff in the first one. I don't even know what they want me to do with the jumpers. Do I catch them? Burn them? What are the slow signs? Okay, sure. Burn the pigeons. Death. Oh, oh damn it. Too tight an angle. Great. How the fuck am I meant to get that guy? Like that. Sorry, pigeons. Oh, hell. I can honestly say that for some reason I did not imagine bungee jumpers. Yep, burn the bungee jumpers. No fun allowed. Ugh. Fuck, why did I pick way up there? That would have been great if I hadn't picked up all that altitude. Nah. Okay, okay. Improving, improving. guy in particular. Fuck. Oh, hey, this works. Oh, supercharging. Okay, great. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Well, got more gems out of it, and uh, we're improving. We're learning. Yeah, this one feels more familiar, and that I kind of get the impression if I mess up once, I have to start over. Fuck! Turn the fuck around, me. Alright. Okay, skip that. You know, I can honestly say I didn't think there would be any war crimes in this game.
Great. Wrong side. Ah, what am I doing? Get this last guy. Leave him there. Oh, I see. Ah, balls. Okay, okay. Well, I learned that. That's important. Gotta get in at the end or I'll leave one of those fucking gates behind. Really, what do these guys do? I do find it neat that the levers are actually causing something to happen. Fuck! I pushed uh, that noise was happening as I pushed the turn around button, the U-turn button. Fancy little flip I was doing earlier. It's rough. The slow signs one is rough. I will say this. Uh, the worst part about the first one wasn't how unforgiving it was. It was that they gave you very little indication of the order. You had to figure that out for yourself. I can just hit the ropes. I can just hit the ropes. Better. That was a much faster transition. And I got the first guy. That wasn't great. And I know I just left one of those dudes behind. Suck it. No! Oh wow, I didn't even need to uh, do the elevator cut. Bitchin'! And no, absolutely not! Oh, I, but I need... Okay, I'll quit and see if there's a mission on the front of it. <laughs> Do I want to try again? Okay! There isn't an orb there! Bitchin'! Yeah, I feel like they make it a lot harder to miss what the intended order is here. Like, in the last one, it'll be like, well, you know, the last ring points in this general direction, and if you keep going for, like, three seconds after that, you'll see the beginning of the, uh, the arches. You know, in this one, it's like, no, 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 they are pointing directly at each other. You can see them as you, you know, you, when you collect the last ring, you can see the neck of the first arch or whatever. 
And that impresses me, because again, this was only a year after the first one, but they very clearly learned things from the shortcomings of the first one. Huh. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? Pretty sure I've already talked to you about that, so okay. No one's been through that portal in years. I never thought I'd find a sucker. I, I mean, <clears throat> you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. Right, I'm sure. Go for it, says my lozenge wrapper. Why don't I do talk to you again? Have fun over there. Say hi to Ripto if you see him. But I don't want to see Ripto. He's kind of a douche. Shady Oasis. You know there were gems over here. Sucks to be you. Hippo. Oh no! Egg thief! I, hmm. I couldn't tell if that was a long stemmed apple of some kind or if it was a gigantic cherry. I feel pretty confident it was one of those. Uh, shout out to Roshan, who have two comments I thought were interesting. <laughs> the first one was, My lord, what is it with this game and ca characters just casually killing their friends? Might as well just have people start wearing red shirts all the time. <laughs> I gotta say, as a lifelong Star Trek fan, I really appreciate that. The, uh, the other one was, uh, raising a good question that I had been wondering, I will say that Turtle Soup minigame is not the best. Uh, why do the turtles head towards the pot on their own? I don't really see what would make them move towards it. Yes, this is an excellent question. Gesundheit. I believe today Roshan's uh, chain of uh, commenting was up to 492 days. Impressive! It's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. Are those part of your shirt, or did Insomniac think that hippos have wings? Or hey, maybe there's a tiny bat clinging to the small of his back. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. So if they're berries, I guess they are giant cherries. I think those are berries. I can never remember, and it doesn't really matter, because some of the definitions are weird. Yeah, it is a cherry. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, screw that guy. I don't know who that was. Yeah, the, uh, these guys. Uh, lo they looked different, much simpler, but, uh, I think it's the same guys. They did not have weapons before, they just ran away. Oh boy. Off you go. The ones that went, uh, na 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 those were, uh, egg thieves in the original Spyro the Dragon. They'd stolen a bunch of, uh, dragon eggs after, uh, Nasty Nork tur turned all of the adult dragons into, uh, into crystal statues. Did I? I, th I did hear that. They went and got the actual sound that a peacock makes. Well done. Well, it says it's leaves, not lily pads. Well, there aren't any trees in here, just these vines. Okay. Or 
Or are you off to, kid? Also, please don't murder me. I know hippopotamuses are uh, extremely territorial, but I swear I'm a friend. Oh boy, that's a big one. Oh, right. Problem solved. I guess you'll have to glide across to this berry bush. I didn't line that one up as well as I thought I did. Yes, good. Oh. Yes, bring down the wall! Uh... Yeah, those are new, actually. They did not have those in the first game. My mistake. Oh. Oh. This is not the, you know, green water. I thought it was one of those, oh, we don't put like, chlorine in this pond, so it's all natural, but that means sometimes the water turns green because of all the algae. Off you go. Nope. There's no tree in here. Let me guess, it's just above you somehow. No. Oh, no, there it is. It's over there. He hadn't finished moving yet. You'll have to go back to those steps you passed to reach this bush. This feels like a like an early level. Almost like a tutorial thing. These steps? Well, these are steps, all right. Oh, I started to glide. I tried to time it so that I would jump as soon as I touched the ground, but instead I started gliding right before I touched the ground and smashed my nose. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess on a quadruped it's called a snout. I don't know. I guess it's still a nose if it's not big enough. No, it's a snout if it's got a muzzle like that. Sticking out of his face instead of, you know, lining flat up. I do like how deranged that guy looks. Yeah, it makes less sense to me, but whatever. What's the name of this region? Shady Oasis, that's right. Oh, fuck. Damn it, now I have to kill a peacock and I'm gonna feel bad about that. Sorry. Friggin' international symbol of beauty over there. <laughs> I'm just charbroiling it. You know, the really funny thing is, uh, the females, pea hens, are actually quite ordinary looking. They don't have the, uh, the fan of feathers in the back, because they don't need to impress any, uh, anyone. And, uh, God damn it. And they're just pretty much uniformly brown. I still question why the bottle survives the explosion, but not the fall, but that's just me. I'm one off! If there was a dude over there, I would have made a comment about that. Guess what you get to do? You get to open. Ah, there you are! You get to open the door! What? Oh. 
Why in here? Is there a target in here? Oh, I should not have that in my mouth. That's probably toxic. Do you mind? I didn't know I could do that. Mind you, I never tried charging those guys in the front to see what would happen. Hey, Buttman. Fuck off. Hey, Buttman. Oh, it does happen! And then he just does his, uh... Yeah, sword. Okay. Neat! Hitting the bush with one of those lava rocks should work. I mean, in this case, it's more like poison rocks, but whatever. He's gonna have to use an entire bottle of mouthwash after this. Oh! Oh, that hurt me. Fuck. He does not get around. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. Oh, thank you. By the way, a nice fez. I forgot to say that earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we helped Shorty get across the map, and we uh, we earned the Mystic Lamp. Neat. That and the Metro Speedway. Not bad for a single episode. I didn't even skip any runs in that. Uh, the jump cut was me impatiently skipping from me losing to me starting the next run. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I feel like this is a good one. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Reignited. When we continue looking for goods and services here, and maybe help out some more hippos with problems. Later!